New York City is looking for more places to house the surge of migrants being bussed in from the southern border. Fox Business correspondent Madison Aldworth says one senator is already upset with the amount of federal funding New York is getting for the homeless. This family friendly park is now home to dozens of adult male migrants. Over the weekend, more than 50 people were bused to temporary housing in Brooklyn's McCarran Park. Local officials, though, insist the move will not impact public access to the pool and fitness center. It's not a perfect situation, far from it, uh, but it's better than sleeping on the street. It comes as New York City tries to care for more than 57,000 migrants. The Big Apple getting $104 million in FEMA aid to cover the cost of this surge. So far, it's the largest share of grant funding released via the Department of Homeland Security's Shelter and Services program. Still, New York City Mayor Eric Adams blames the Biden administration for not sending enough aid. Others, like Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema, say it's too much. She argues border states such as Arizona and Texas have been bearing the brunt of the migrant crisis for years. When I hear from folks in other parts of the country say, oh, it's hard, our shelters are overwhelmed. Yeah, come live a day in the life of Yuma, Summerton, or San Luis. The southern border still seeing thousands of migrant encounters each day. Local officials say the number of people released into their communities are much higher than those up north. Come in with eyes open and ears open and from an angle of compassion and uh, common sense, you're going to find the truth down there. And today, New York City officials announced plans to construct a relief center on Randall's Island. It will serve up to 2,000 migrants. In Brooklyn, New York, I'm Madison Allworth, Fox 26 News.